Hey guys, hope you're having an amazing day, episode three. Um, gonna just dive straight into it. It's basically, I'm basically gonna show you how to craft a high quality LinkedIn header and picture. And I really like going into detail. So I'm basically gonna show you how to do every single little thing you need to do to find your dream client and to be able to secure five figure clients, six figure clients. Um, and this is this is what I've done. This is what's, work, what's worked really well. So. I've got nothing to. Um, I'm going. I'm going to leave nothing on the table. I'm just going to show you everything, and in this episode, it's going to be short and sharp because there's not really too much that needs to go into this. However, if you stay until the end of the video, I'm going to show you examples that you can actually go and use for yourself. So, episode three: LinkedIn background header and profile picture. Crafting a high quality LinkedIn header and picture. So, to establish credibility and trust in your prospects, you must have a clean, professional, and high quality LinkedIn. Um, picture and background header so you want to present your value statement and transformation you can deliver them you want to view your LinkedIn profile as a landing page with compelling sales copy I mean that's really important your LinkedIn page you want it to basically be like a mini website without becoming across too salesy um, I'm going to show you during the last latter part of the episodes of how to do this um, and you know how to reach out to clients how to find them how you can have a well optimized profile and come across a thought leader and authority in your field um well yeah this episode is just mainly about your background and your profile picture so before prospect um before prospects accept your connection request or shortly after they do connect so the first thing they would do is most likely notice your picture and your background header as it stands out i mean we've all done it before once you go on someone's linkedin profile you're going to notice okay what does this person look like and you're going to notice okay what's behind their picture or the the background header um, because you know as humans it's just the biggest thing to to see on their on their screen so that's the first two things that we look at so we need to get that right to just really you know get grab their attention so they can scroll down and see what more you potentially have to offer and how you might potentially be able to help them so this is what you're going to do first obviously you're going to sign into your linkedin profile but no you this is your personal profile of course not your company pro, um, profile where we'll be sending um, well, we'd be doing this and sending connection requests in the future, of course. You want to be sending, you want to be doing all this on your pro professional, personal profile. You don't want to be using a company page. People would rather speak to, um, like, the person instead of, like, a company page because it just comes across more, you know, you're actually speaking to uh, a human, maybe not a bot because they might have that automated and things like that. So once you signed in, you want to add a high quality headshot image. I'm going to show you some examples. Make sure it's obviously clear where you can see your face. Ideally, if you're smiling. And this is important for people to recognize you and it helps build, you know, trust, you know, likability. And just you, you just want to be familiar with, um, with the people they're reaching out to. And they want to feel like they're familiar with you. Um, so if you do not have a high quality headshot, I suggest you should take one, um, whether that's on your phone or camera. And firstly, depending on your, on your niche, you can be suited up or or dress, you know, business casual. Some niches, it can be intimidating. Overall, fit the vibe and appear just like your prospects. You know, simple as that, quite simple. And so these are just some examples of my clients here. This is myself here, just nice professional pictures. I mean, nothing too crazy. My client here, she's just on a laptop, um, on a Zoom, smiling, looking, um, you know, looking like, okay, this person looks like a, a, a nice, a happy person let me let me see more and let me find out more what she does pretty simple and so this is where it gets juicy so the background header which i would like to say is probably the, one of the most important things your linkedin profile because you can actually really state your authority here so what i've actually done i've come up with a way to do this so um where you've seen me so for instance my client here she um she didn't want me to put a picture on there which is fine so she's actually been seen on cnn the new york times the early show we've clearly stated all the companies she's worked with and that really helps her come across a thought leader and authority and have an advantage over her competitors as soon as the lead goes on her profile. And then we've obviously clearly stated what she does. She's an executive coach and plus she's a leadership ex expert on war winning author. So as I said, once someone clicks on your profile, they check the picture, you see the picture, and then they'll check the background header. Um, and then if they see this, I mean, this gives them the... Um, this gives them the urge to find out more, to find out, to scroll down and see what more she has to offer. And this is important. This separate, this could separate you from landing a client and that lead sticking on your page, 
or perhaps trying to find someone else. I mean, these are all the the five percent, and that's why I'm creating these um, series of episodes. I'm going into fine detail because I want to explain everything in the way um, the way I think and my mindset behind it, and how it could potentially help you. And this is just another example. So she didn't. Um, she wasn't. She didn't allow me to uh, to didn't allow me to include her picture, which is perfectly fine. But basically, she's a leadership development. So that bit there was meant to say leadership development plus executive coaching, where you see my work clearly stated all the companies she's worked with. Same again, an authority in her field, a thought leader, different to the rest. I mean, you're probably not seeing this. If, you, if you're watching this video now, you've probably not seen something like this on LinkedIn before. Um, so you should get on it before it gets really popular because this can be the difference. This can really help you come across more of an authority in your field. So yeah, that's pretty much done. Episode three, it was short and sharp. Make sure you've got a high quality picture. Make sure you're doing something like this. I mean, literally, you can literally just go on Canva and create this yourself. If you haven't worked with big companies, you can state more about what you do. Or for instance, if you worked with clients that worked on companies, you can state the companies that they worked on, um, showing that you helped them, things like that. Just be, um, just think out of the box. That's what I'm telling you guys to do. Think out of the box. Be different. Just think, how can I be different? How can I look different to my competitors? That's all you need to be thinking with with um, with this. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, like, subscribe. I see you in episode four. Take care, guys.